Mr. Speaker, honorable members, I want to commence this debate on the 2022 budget. Wednesday, November 24, 2021, Member them of Parliament start for debate the Salon 2022 budget document with the Minister of Finance, Dennis Vandy, being only at the well of Parliament Friday, November 19 this year, and at the Chairman for the Committee on Finance, Honorable Francis Amara Kaisamba, being start the ball rolling inside this debate as among plenty points them we make. It been fast for point out the fact say the COVID-19 sick affect the progress of the saloon economy. We make it say plenty development area them slow down at the country. So before that, for example, the projection is that economic growth was somewhere around 5.9 percent until the corona hit and there were contractions that reduced that figure. 4.0 globally. So essentially, when you look at the Sierra Leone scenario as to be part of the global community, what was the performance of the budget of the macroeconomic output of Sierra Leone in 2018, 2019, 2020? Naturally, because of the same singular factor, we were adversely affected, coupled with the slump of the higher oil price in Sierra Leone, we are equally also disturbed by the domestic revenue mobilization. That affected the budget performance in 2020. But the Member of Parliament for Constituency 38 Nabombali District, Honorable Saliu Usman Sise, not been agree with this statement by Honorable Kaisamba, but say the COVID-19 sick, even don't be as blessing in disguise for the saloon economy, this be and government not for blame the COVID-19 sick, like how the one blame them now for the country in economy. Let me respond to some of the statements made by my colleague on the other side. Blaming Corona or the COVID to be one of the key factors undermining the performance of this government. <laughs> as far as I know, in my considered opinion, I believe that the COVID is a blessing in disguise for the it's a blessing in disguise because had it not been the COVID supports, the donor supports from donor agencies, from donor partners, this economy would have been in a complete mess. Or in a Honorable Salu Usman Sisi carry on for challenge some projection them with the Minister of Finance make inside the budget document on the basis say they not they reflect on the life of the ordinary saloon man and after we Honorable Salu Sisi look inside the old budget document he described the budget inside one phrase as so a posh budget and as so he been tokam. It is always possible for a government to manipulate some economic variables, like inflation, just what, what the minister did, like GDP, just like that is in our, in our, in our paper. But there is one variable that you will never be able to manipulate, especially in the free market economy like we have in Sierra Leone. That is the exchange rate. It will always expose you. The exchange rate. The exchange rate has succeeded in exposing this government since they took over office. Now, and this brings back to memory why I said we should, we should look at uh, Corona as a blessing in disguise. The only time we have a stable, a stable exchange rate of the deal, it was when we had Corona, our ministers, president, and other people were not happy. <laughs> But today, 
We have seen that because of the opening of the boundaries, the international boundaries, the direction is now going. It's going up to 11 points of What are we talking about here? Are we really interested in the livelihood of our people? No, 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 no. Are we really interested in the well-being of our people? No, 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 no. This budget is a sofa posh budget. <laughs> But the Member of Parliament for Constituency 81 Nabo District, Honorable Joseph Williams Lamin, no believe say the budget sound like the way Honorable Salyu Usman Sisi describe him. Mr. Speaker, uh, Honorable Member, and the, the title of the, this budget is clearly stated that the team building resilience for inclusive green recovery. I was, I was thinking that inclusive recovery that is like more like a mother like in SO2 like Congo business now Congo because he embraces everybody you know I was thinking that you take it that this man a Congo but you deviated from that so it is not so of course so it's not so of course but it's a Congo uh, account a Congo for this. Plenty other MP them. Don't say waiting and think but the Salon 2022 budget and more get for say more on this same budget inside the three days debate. Remember them of parliament. Plan for debate this document and Glad TV online. Go bring more MP them statement them on this budget on different other report them. For Salon Parliament I on Glad TV online. Mina Abdullah Gla the report.